You guys won't believe this. I'm jogging at this park trying to keep my heart rate at zone 4 until I see this water bottle. The recycling bin is literally right there. It's 3 miles away. Come on guys. I see plastic and broken glass all over. Judging by the glass color, it looks like some cheap bourbon. Like a Jim Bean. When I looked up, I see a trash bag near the riverbed. These people don't respect nature. I'll just use this bag to collect the trash. Wait, hold up. Is that Valentino hot sauce? Wait, why is there a broken bottle of Valentino hot sauce in this bag? Man, that's terrible. One moment of silence, please, for the best breakfast hot sauce around. Wait, I was not expecting to see a pair of shoes in here. No way did I just find a pair of shoes at this park. It looks like it's drenched in hot sauce, so hopefully it's easy to take out. If it has red 40 in there, I don't think it's going to be possible to take that red coloring out. These have to be the dirtiest Yeezys I've ever seen in my life. The soles have a ton of heel drag with yellowing to match. There's still a lot of dirt in chat. Oh, yo, wait a minute. Did y'all just see what just popped out? Don't tell me that there's bugs living in these shoes. I gotta be the most unluckiest person in the world to keep running into shoes with bugs in them. Let's call these guys Bell and Beast. Man, that hot sauce is really caked in the uppers. If you've ever had hot sauce on your shoes and can't get it out, this video might be for you. The damage is so bad, I don't even know what colorway these Yeezys are. Let's soak the laces with water, dish soap, and a little bit of OxyClean. For now, I just want to break down the stains and dirt. Man, these soles look absolutely destroyed. How are we even going to bring these back? I'm starting to think I should have just left them where I found them. I'm gonna use a hose to rinse as much of the dirt out as I can. The hot sauce on a cement isn't coming off. That is not a good sign. You can see spots of hot sauce all over the shoe that isn't coming off with just water. Comment down below what shoe cleaner do you think will take the stains off easily. I can already tell this is gonna be a very tough restoration project. The discoloration on the insole ain't even budging. I'm not gonna lie, with these hot sauce stains, they kinda have this cheetah print thing going on. Even with all the mud off, the shoes are not looking any better. So I think these are supposed to be the Cream 350s, and they're reselling for six to seven hundred dollars. I wouldn't even take these shoes in this condition if somebody even paid me. Just look how bad the soles are. Since the whole shoe is made of knit material, I think it's safe to say that I could submerge these shoes without damaging them. So I'm going to submerge them in OxyClean solution. I feel like we're all in the same boat to figure out if we can even restore these back to their original condition. So let's try out OxyClean Versatile first. Someone did recommend the OxyClean Max for stain remover in a spray bottle, so hopefully this would be just as strong if not better. I just want to make sure that the powder is fully dissolved in the water before I put in the shoes. I might as well add the insoles to see if it'll change anything. I'm gonna see how much cleaner the shoes will be after I leave them in the solution for 24 to 48 hours. So we'll check back in a little bit and see if the stains come out. It's been a full 48 hours and the water turned yellow, so we'll see what the uppers look like. Okay, the stains are still there, but they don't look as bad. Just a quick reminder, here's what they look like before. The stains are still there, but it's not as heavy as before. Here's what they look like after the OxyClean bath. We still have a long way to go to make them look as coke white as we can. Uppers are still heavily stained, soles are still yellowed. We haven't really done anything about the yellowing yet, so we'll figure that we'll figure that out when the time comes. Let's see if we can break down the stains using a steamer. The steamer didn't do too much, so we're gonna have to use some stronger chemicals to whiten the uppers. I'm gonna use pure 12% hydrogen peroxide and apply it on the uppers. One thing I found out recently is that if you use hydrogen peroxide to wind your t-shirts or hats that have been yellowed due to your sweat stains, using hydrogen peroxide can break down the stains and whiten your clothes. I'm not gonna front like I know the scientific reason behind it, but I just know that it works. 
I really should be using gloves when applying the 12% hydrogen peroxide because this will leave crazy chemical burns on your hands. If you guys have ever touched Sally's 40 volume cream with your bare hands, you know what I mean. I don't know if diluting the hydrogen peroxide with a spot remover is a good idea, but I just want to test it out to see if it can break down the stains even further. I'm also going to put them in the washer and add a little bit of detergent to make them look squeaky clean. I know vinegar helps with whining as well, so I might as well throw that in there too. But with all the chemicals that we've used already, I don't know if this will even make a dent. Let's go with whites and start the cycle. Alright, so after letting the shoes completely dry, I'm starting to see less stains. And here's a quick reminder on how they used to look like before. There is still some visible stains around the front of the shoe and on the back heel tab portion. So let's see if we could tackle the stains with bleach. I'm just going to put the bleach in a spray bottle and evenly spray it on the shoes, but I'm going to dilute it with a little bit of water first. After applying the bleach, I'm going to put them in my ice box to see what it'll do. Unfortunately, the stains are still there, so I'm going to try a different method. I'm going to mix baking soda with dish soap and a little bit of 12% hydrogen peroxide to make a paste. I'm going to put the paste all over the shoes, but more concentrated on the stains. The shoes aren't completely back to white yet, but at least we've gone pretty far from how they were originally. I honestly don't even know what else I'm going to do because I've already tried everything that I could think of. Um, what I've read online and what people recommended on reddit and all, on all these forums. I was really counting on the bleach to let that be the final nail to whiten the shoes but it, I still see the stains. So let's see if using bleach in the washer will change anything. I don't use bleach on shoes unless I know it's completely safe on the upper and it won't discolor it. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. The stains are still there. I'm, I'm losing hope. I don't know what else I could do. I did read a comment about using a degreaser. I have no idea if it'll work, but what's the worst that could happen? Let's give it a shot. I have nothing else to lose, honestly. I'm going to test a small area first. The last thing I want to do is turn the whole shoe green. So I'm just using a Q-tip to just do a little test spot. I don't know if the green degreaser is overpowering the color of the red hot sauce. Because the more I scrub it and, and apply it on the shoe, I'm seeing less of the red hot sauce. I don't want to get my hopes too high, so I'm going to use something a little bit more stronger to scrub all of the stains out using a scrub daddy. It looks like the stains are coming out with the degreaser that is crazy never in my life would i think a degreaser would help lift hot sauce stains i'm also gonna use barkeeper spring just to give it a little bit of kick with its cleaning it helped a lot when i restored the 2011 conquered 11s in my last video so hopefully this will help out too i've never been so much happier to remove some mexican chili hot sauce off of some yeezys before Rest in peace to the Valentino hot sauce, by the way. I can't believe we whitened them after trial after trial. All it took was a scrub daddy and the green degreaser. This is not sponsored by scrub daddy, by the way, but I'm definitely going to start using them more on shoes now. I'm going to give them a quick rinse under running water and then let them fully dry to see what they look like. Guys, look at that. What a thing of beauty. Remember, this is what they used to look like after we took out the mud. I don't see a single red chili sauce stain anywhere. Now that is Coke White, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to waste my time even trying to make them look as good as new again because these have been heavily worn. But I just want to see the power of the degreaser. It was able to take the stains off the toe pretty good, but I think I'm just going to replace them. Alright y'all, the next thing we're going to tackle is the bottom soles. I'm going to tell you my secret on where I get my donor soles from. You can't just get it anywhere, you have to have some kind of connection. 
So I basically order from this restaurant and give them my secret phrase. I'm doing good. I would like to get the papaya shrimp salad with extra butter. I meant the papaya shrimp salad with extra butter. Just one. Okay, I got you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You got a whole bar and everything. All right. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Here you go, brother. Thank you. Take care. Let's see if we secure the bag. They gotta deliver it like takeout because they just don't want anyone to know that they're doing this as a side business, you know? I'm gonna trace the edge of the midsole with a heat disappearing fabric pen. I've never done this method before where I would trace the previous midsole line. This is how I'm gonna know where to put the new glue when I reattach the new midsole. I'm trying something different, I don't know if this will work. I'm gonna separate the uppers with acetone and I'm using a syringe to help me drip some of the acetone down where I want the midsole to separate. Damn, I can't tell you guys how frustrating this is. So the acetone ended up discoloring the uppers. I've never had this issue before. We were literally in the clear. We just widened the whole uppers and then I fumbled the bag. So I didn't want to make the same mistake again. So I sprayed the other shoe with water and it did work. Spraying the uppers with water helped the acetone not discolor the uppers. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to redo the whole steps I did all over again. I'm gonna spray the uppers with 12% hydrogen peroxide to see if it'll whiten it up. And this time I'm gonna leave them out in the sun. Looks like it helped out a little bit. I'm gonna do another session. Since it's getting dark, I'm gonna put them in my ice box. I'm gonna soak the uppers again in OxyClean Versatile and leave them out in the sun to whiten outside. Can you just imagine all the work that we've been through, all the work that we put in, just for that one newbie mistake of this sh happening. But here's the thing, I, I didn't know that was gonna happen, so. I guess it's a lesson to me and it's a lesson to you guys. I'm just gonna speed run this for you guys. I'm gonna hit it with bleach and leave them out in my ice box. Each time I do something, it is helping out a little bit. This time I'm gonna coat the whole upper with laundry detergent with some blue dye. This is gonna help make the whites look a lot whiter and hopefully fix that stain that I stupidly made. I'm gonna leave them out in the sun and let the sun do its magic. Okay, it's time to glue the shoes back together now. I'm gonna keep some of my glue in a separate container just so I can keep the rest of the batch fresh. I'm also gonna put the glue in an amber colored mason jar just so it doesn't alter the properties of my glue. I'm gonna wipe down the soles with acetone and cotton balls first to remove any contamination, usually from dust or oils from my fingerprints which will affect the re-glue. And then I'm gonna add a thin layer of my glue on the soles. I'm gonna glue the toe first and then work on the heel second. I'm going to apply the glue and let it cure for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to reheat the glue with the blow dryer and then bond the uppers to the midsole together. I'm just trying to follow the old glue line. What you can visibly see is a lot darker than the rest of the upper.
I'm just gonna finish up the sides and repeat the whole process. Instead of trying to bust my ass and make those insoles look as wide as possible, it's just smarter to get new ones. So I'm getting brand new insoles from Insole Geek and brand new laces from Lit Laces. I do have a discount code for first time buyers for the laces, it will be down in the description below. Alright guys, a lot of work went into the shoes to make these bricks look brand new again. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the whole process and subscribe if you have not already. Be sure to click on the bell to get notified with all my future uploads. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yee! Sorry guys, these are not the right Yeezys. I need to fire my editor. Hey, to be real, I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos. As a thank you, I want to give you guys some. It's not going to be anything too crazy, but I hope you guys will still appreciate it. So drop down your size and I'll choose a few winners. Thank you again for watching my videos and I really appreciate you guys.